Hello and welcome back to Kingdom Reviews. I'm your host, the Future Key Bearer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the world that you will by far spend the most time in, Olympus Coliseum. So upon entry to the world, you find Phil, who's sprucing up the place a little bit. Before you have a chance to talk to him, Phil asks Sora to go move a pedestal. Unfortunately, the pedestal is way too heavy to move. Why the hell doesn't he just have Donald and Goofy help him? It's way too heavy. What? Too heavy? Since when have you been such a little... Oh, wrong guy. Okay, it's clear that Phil mistook Sora for Hercules, but my question is, how? I mean, how did Phil mistake Sora's pubescent little voice and mix it up with Hercules' adult voice? So Phil goes on to explain that the Colosseum is a place where heroes can duke it out in exciting battles. However, despite Sora and Donald's insistence on the fact that they are heroes, Phil won't let him enter the games. But he does decide to give Sora a chance to show him what he can do. So what challenge does Phil have set for Sora? Breaking barrels. What? This minigame is so stupid. It literally does not help anything, and it's just tedious to go through. So despite acing the challenge, Phil still doesn't let Zora, Donald, and Goofy join the games. Why? Two words! You guys ain't heroes! Come on! <laughs> I love how Goofy's just in the background there just counting. So Phil gives you the thunder spell and sends you on your way. Uh, rather a stubborn old goat, wouldn't you say? Who are you? <laughs> oh, hey, hold on there, Fuzzboy. Oh, the, wait, let me guess. You want to enter the games, right? Well then, hey, get a load of this. A pass? It's all yours. Seriously? You're gonna trust Hades? Well, okay, fair enough, Sword Doll and Goofy don't know who Hades is, but come on, does this look like the kind of guy you can trust? So you go in and give the pass to Phil, and he realizes he has no choice but to let you into the games. So these games are a series of six matches where you have to fight different groups of Heartless. Which begs the question, if you're willing to have the heartless fucking monsters compete in the games, why not Sword Doll and Goofy? So we find out the reason why Hades got Sword Doll and Goofy into the games is because he actually hired someone to kill them and Hercules in the Colosseum. Who did he hire? Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Ran out of mythical monsters there, Hades? Actually, this does spring up something kind of weird about the series. Olympus Coliseum is the only Disney World in the entire Kingdom Hearts series that features a Final Fantasy character. So naturally, your final match is against Cloud himself. And much like Sabor and Leon, it doesn't matter whether or not you win this battle, the story will still continue. But unlike those other two battles, the way the story progresses makes just as much sense whether you win or lose. Once the battle is over, Cerberus comes in and stomps on Cloud, but before the three-headed dog can do any more damage, Hercules comes in and gives everyone a chance to get out of there. However, Sora just can't leave it alone, so he, Donald, and Goofy go in to help in the fight. And... Cerberus is a... odd boss battle. Mainly because he has a lot of... interesting abilities. Like, he can shoot fireballs, raise pillars of darkness... Sometimes I just don't know how the Square Enix staff comes up with this stuff. And with Cerberus defeated, Phil decides to dub Sword Donald and Goofy Junior Heroes. Hey, what do you mean Junior Heroes? You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. So, what does it take? Well, that's just something you'll have to find out for yourselves. Just the way that I did. So, on their way out, Sora, Donald, and Goofy come across Cloud who tells them that the only reason why he helped Hades was because Hades promised to help Cloud find someone. And before anybody asks, it's never made clear who he's looking for. Could be Aerith, could be Tifa, I don't know. How about a rematch sometime? Fair and square, no dark powers involved. I think I'll pass. Oh, you're gonna get your rematch, but Cloud's still gonna use the dark powers. However, you're not done yet. Throughout the rest of the game, and different tournaments will be unlocked in the Colosseum. These tournaments range from the Phil Cup, the Pegasus Cup, and the Hercules Cup. 
and at the end of that last one, you get to fight, who else? Hercules. But for whatever reason, Sora decides he wants to take on Hercules by himself. What? Donald? Goofy? Aren't you gonna say something? What are we gonna do? Make them down there, not this. Oh, I look forward to seeing Sora get his ass kicked because of this decision. So now it's you against the demigod Hercules. What possible way do you have to defeat this mightiest of adversaries? By throwing barrels at him. I am not kidding. So Hercules starts this battle with this sort of godlike state, and while he's in this state, none of Sora's attacks will hurt him. So in order to get him out of this state, you throw a barrel at him, which will stun Hercules for a little bit, and it'll allow you to get attacks in. That's stupid! And you know what the worst part about it is? Suddenly Phil's training makes sense! So after winning the battle, Sora learns a valuable lesson. Now I finally know what you mean about strength of heart. Mine comes from Donald and Goofy. Come again? If we stick together, we're unbeatable. Not even Hercules stands a chance. With these guys beside me, I'm ready for anything. I love how Sora realizes this right after defeating the great and mighty Hercules by himself. You know what would have made this so much better? If Sora had tried this battle by himself, but quickly realized that he couldn't do it alone, and it wasn't until after Donald and Goofy joined in that they finally managed to beat Hercules, that really would have driven this point home so much better. After this, Sora, Donald, and Goofy learn how to use the Yellow Trinities. Oh yeah, I guess I forgot to go over those. Probably should have done that back in Traverse Town. Well, Trinities are these little marks that you'll find on the ground all throughout the world and each color does a different thing. Blue Trinities is Trinity Jump, which usually makes things like money, MP orbs, regular items, and stuff like that appear. Red Trinities are Trinity Charge, which has Sword Doll and the Goofy charging into something to either break it or push it off a ledge or something. Green Trinity is Trinity Ladder, which has Sword Doll and the Goofy stack up on top of each other so that they can reach something that's, well, out of reach. Yellow Trinity, like we've unlocked here, is Trinity Push, which has Sword Doll and the Goofy working together to push something heavy. And finally is White Trinity, which makes a very special item appear. So you use the Yellow Trinity on the pedestal that Phil asked Sora to move earlier, and it turns out that underneath the pedestal was the keyhole for this world, and Sora swiftly uses his keyblade to lock it. After this, you still have three more challenges left to face. First is the Hades Cup which is a 50 round tournament against all manner of monsters and enemies and so on. Then there is the gold match, which is a single match against the Ice Titan, and the platinum match, which is a single match which is Sora against Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. This guy has become one of the most infamous secret bosses in the entire Kingdom Hearts franchise. The reason why is because his health is unbelievably long, his attacks are super strong and fast, and as far as most people are concerned, there is no discernible strategy in order to beat him. If you have beaten him, more likely than not, you just got lucky. So that was the Olympus Coliseum, and for the world that you would arguably spend the most amount of time in, not much happens. I mean, yeah, there's a story, but it's not very long, and there's really nothing in the way of exploration in this world, as really there are only three rooms to it. The best thing that I can say about this world is that it is a great place to do some level grinding. It's not one of the best worlds in the series, but it could be a lot worse. Join me next time as we return to the home for the homeless.